Gretchen, and welcome everybody. Uh, as Gretchen said, that this year's stewardship program is titled Defying Gravity or Breaking Free from the Culture of War. Right now. Here. Yeah. Hello? I'll have to speak louder. Uh, it's, it's, it's from a book by uh, Pastor Tom Berlin. And I think a lot of, uh, still not working? No. Sundays, uh, individual speakers. How about that? <laughs> Today and the next three uh, Sundays, individual speakers will be speaking on uh, different parts of that book. Uh, today, uh, the first part of that uh, is Discovering Gravity. And I was going to bring a rock up here and uh, talk about the gravity that Sir Isaac Newton discovered in 1655. Dropped that rock, but I figured it might put a dent in the floor. So that's not the type of gravity, gravity we're going to be talking about. We're going to be talking about financial gravity. And that's the, uh, the pull, the economic, uh, it's a, uh, something in the economic world that causes us, it's a force that compels us to purchase our worst basic necessities, things such as food, shelter, clothing, for ourselves and the low, those we love. And it also allows us this financial gravity. It's important as Christians to remember when thinking about generosity and stewardship. Besides our basic needs, all of us have wants. The list is never short. And besides the items we do not have, we also want bigger and newer things that we already have. The longer the list, the more financial gravity exerts its pull. Financial gravity can cause problems if we feel it with such an intensity that it changes the way we live our lives. It, for me, there's a four-letter word that has an impact on my life. It's called sale, S-A-L-E. If I see a sale, I've got to buy an item that I think I need. And, I have several golf shirts in my uh, my closet at home. In fact, I have 32. And probably the only person that would suffer if I stopped buying these golf shirts would be Greg Norman, because I think he uh, probably gets a royalty for each one of those shirts that I buy that is his. I also have two 25-foot freezer, refrigerator freezers that I seem to when I see uh, sale signs for me and stuff like that in stores. I get carried away and I buy those items. And some of those actually get used before the, they get freezer burned, but not all of them. So I could do it without one of those 25 foot side by side freezer refrigerators. So an important part of uh, stewardship is giving and sometimes we are reluctant to give money because of the many effects of financial gravity all of which has to do with the upkeep of the kingdom of self. Saving from future events such as college education for children, spending more on changing our lifestyles, purchase big ticket items, bucket list experiences. These are all valid things to consider and enjoy. However, each under financial stress yields a similar result. There's nothing left to give. Generosity is simply not possible. Last year, I stood up here and offered a challenge that I would match increased pledges made by the congregation up to a total of 25,000. That challenge was met by some 45 members of the congregation, this one in the first congregation. And you got me to, for that 25,000, there was over 27,000, I think, of increased pledges. So, so I kicked in that, that, that money. And I paid for that challenge by closing up the balance of my IRA account at the credit union. On December 18th, 2015, uh, I deposited a check for 45974 which was a balance in that account. 
and that was depositing, checking uh, the uh, deposit account at the credit union or at <laughs> the church uh, called deferred contributions. And 1,200 of that was used last year to balance the 20, uh, 2014 budget. And this year, 2,083 is transferred each month to cover that pledge that I made of 25,000. And there will be a balance in that account of 19,774 as of the end of December. And talking about pledge giving this year and non-pledge giving, pledge giving this year is $14,022 under budget as of August 31st. Unpledge giving as of August 31st is 27424 under budget. These two add to total of 41446 in account for most of our deficit that we have as of August 31st in the operating budget of 43094 So the <coughs> SPRC has uh, provided a proposal, uh, according to Pastor Mark, that will actually reduce operating expense this year by 24000 We have four months for the rest of the year. In the first eight months of the year, we never had income greater than expense. So if that's going to get turned around so we can get that 24000 in savings, we actually have at least 6000 Every month is more income than expense. And we're praying that it happens. But if it does, that does happen, there would still be 19,000 left to cover that deficit this year. And here's the challenge I'm offering the congregation this year. If everyone between now and December 31st can uh, kick in and deep, down a little bit uh, deeper in their pocket and Increase pledge and unpledge giving so that we do not have to use more than 9,774 of that deferred contribution. When the books are closed on December 31st, if that happens, I will add another $10,000 to that account to carry over to next year. So, again, you know, if the congregation can come up with more money so that we will keep at least. Uh, $10,000 in that account, I will match that for another 10 for next year. So that's my challenge. I hope everybody takes it hard and helps us balance this year's budget.